Today, I want to explain this Ryan tech that a lot of skilled Ryan players use. It's basically a method to get more oomph out of your swings. Everybody knows that swing has a lingering hitbox, which means the hitbox starts at one side and moves towards the other. This can be abused to make wide swings that hit at a larger radius around you. A little nest known technique is that you can use the edges of the hitbox to get more distance to your swings. Ordinarily, the swing range is 5 meters in front of you. However, the edges of the hitbox can extend up to 6 or 7 meters. People often suggest to shake your camera to use this range because it is harder to explain properly. However, the shake method can disorient you and it is less consistent overall. That's why you simply have to remember to move your camera to the opposite direction of your swings. That means if the swing is coming from right to left, you move the camera from left to right. A thing to note is that the first swing is always from right to left. This method is very important when chasing targets, as you always keep the hitbox in front of you, which lets you hit the enemy as soon as you reach the optimal range. In this clip, I used the very end of my swing animation to reach a target that would have been able to escape otherwise. Another important thing I will touch is how the hit register works. Basically, an enemy player can only be hit once by a swing. This means if the enemy is in an invulnerability state where they can't be hit as you're swinging, you can simply use the end of your swing animation to hit them as they leave on vulnerability, as they have not yet been hit by your swing. Some examples to the invulnerability states are the Reaper Wraithform, the May Ice Block, the Kiriko Suzu, the Moira Wraithform, and the ending of an Echo Ult. Yikes. In this clip, I quickly flicked my camera to the right to use the end of my swing animation to hit the Echo as she was getting out of her invulnerability state. A side note to add is that Baptiste Immortality Field does not count as an invulnerability state, as you can still hit Baptiste inside the field. Which means, if you want to hit Baptiste and the Immortality Field, you should hit the Immortality Field first while ignoring Baptiste, so that you can hit Baptiste with the end of your swing animation. 